we did have a look at the ANOVA table and confidence interval calculations in case of one-way ANOVA, but there are differences when it comes to two-way ANOVA. So we will just walk through uh, those you know calculations once again, uh, specific to two-way ANOVA. Starting with the degrees of freedom, we know uh, degrees of freedom is normally defined as the number of independent ways in which a variable can uh, vary and that is normally one less than the number of factor levels. So coming to factor city, uh, it's given by a minus one where a is the number of factor levels. So we have three cities, so it will be three minus one. Uh, for agency, it will be b minus one where again b is the number of factor levels and we have two agencies, so it's two minus one. For the term interaction, now if we have a look at the two-way ANOVA table here under source we have cities, agency and then this is the new entrant. We see a factor interaction here. Now for interaction the degrees of freedom is the product of the degrees of freedom for both the factors that is a minus 1 into b minus 1. So we get 2 into 1 which is then for the error term it is given by a b into n minus 1 where n is the subgroup size in this case we know it is 5 so it will be given by 3 into 2 into 5 minus 1 so that comes to 24 and finally the total degrees of freedom is given by a b n minus 1 so 3 into 2 into 5 minus 1 we get 20 9. Now coming to the sum of squares, starting with the sum of squares for the factor city, it is given by the subgroup size multiplied by levels for agency multiplied by the overall summation of the square of the difference between grand average and average for the factor level. So if we take an example like for city 1, the subgroup size is going to be 5, the levels of agency 2, the grand average we have seen is 15.74 minus the mean for the factor level. So in this case we are talking about city 1, so the mean for city 1 is 13.04 and square of that. So we get 72.75. Similarly, we calculate for city 2 and city 3 and sum for all the three cities is then 128.6. Then going to the sum of squares for the next factor which is agency, it is given by the subgroup size into levels for city multiplied by overall summation of the square of the difference between the grand average and average for the factor level. And if we take an example, let's say for agency A, it's going to be 5, subgroup size is 5, levels for city 3, grand average 15.74 and uh, the mean for the factor level. So in this case, we are talking about agency A, mean is 15.01 and square of that. So that is 7.90. Similarly, we calculate for the second agency and that sum is what we get 15.80. Then going on to the sum of squares for error, it is given by the overall summation of the square of the difference between average for each subgroup of the combination of city and agency and the individual observation in this subgroup. Again, if we have to take an example like for the first data point for the combination of city 1 and agency A that is given by the mean for the factor level which is city 13.04 minus the individual observation 12.66 square of that. That is how we get 0.13. So similarly, we calculate the uh, values for each combination of the city and agency and then we 
sum it up that's how we get 8.21 then going to the total sum of squares which is given by the overall summation of the square of the difference between grand average and individual observations so this is where it is getting calculated uh, so how is this coming the difference between grand average uh, which is 15.74 minus the individual observation square of that so that's how you get 9.48 similarly the the values are calculated and added up we get 152.6 which is the total sum of squares and for the interaction it is given by the difference between the total sum of squares and other individual sum of squares for error city and agency so that basically becomes 152.61 minus 128.6 minus 8.2 minus 15.8 that's how you get 0 0.008 and next is the mean sum of squares now we would remember that mean sum of squares or ms is the ratio of sum of squares and degrees of freedom so for example ms city or mean sum of squares for city would be the ratio of 128.6 because that's the sum of square for city divided by degrees of freedom for the city which is 2 that's how we get 64.32 for agency it is 15.8 by 1 that's why we get 15.8 8 here. Just as a reminder that ms or mean sum of square represents the subgroup variance. Then we have the calculated f stat which is given by ms or mean sum of squares for the term divided by mean sum of square for error. Like for city it will be 64.3 divided by 0 0.34 that's how you get 187.9 here and then coming to the all important p value now from the calculation point of view uh, as we explained in case of one way ANOVA it can be calculated by estimating the cumulative distribution function for f distribution in Minitab where we could use the calculated f stat as the input constant. Now coming to the calculation of the confidence intervals in case of two-way ANOVA, uh, let's take the case of the factor cities. So the confidence interval for factor city would be given by the mean for the city level plus minus of t 1 minus alpha by 2 degrees of freedom multiplied by s where s is the pooled standard deviation divided by square root of b into n where n is the subgroup size which is 5 in this case and b is the number of levels for the factor agency and degrees of freedom uh, as we had seen earlier is given by a b into n minus 1. Similarly the confidence intervals for factor agency is also calculated. Now the T stat value in this case is going to be at alpha of 5% and degrees of freedom 24 which turns out to be 2.01 if we check in the T table as we had discussed in case of one way ANOVA we can do the calculations in Excel as well using the formula T dot INB. Now if we take an example for let's say city 1 and see how the upper level is getting calculated so we use this formula here and uh, mean in this case for city 1 is going to be 13 plus the t stat which is going to be 2.01 multiplied by the pooled standard deviation which comes from the ANOVA table which is 0.58 divided by square root of n which is the subgroup size in this case it is 5 multiplied by the number of levels for the factor agency which is 2 and we do this calculation and we get 13.4 and that is what this 
upper level for city one is all about so all in all this is how the anova stats are getting calculated any software you use it will compute and present these stats but as a good learner it is always advisable to be aware of these computations i hope this video was useful we would always be delighted to see your likes comments and mails as we consider you an integral part of our learning endeavor keep watching this space as we plan to host more learning videos on concepts from dmac lean dfss reengineering theory of constraints bpm and operations research please do subscribe to the page and keep receiving updates as and when we upload a new tutorial do share the links or channel details in your group so we end up creating a much larger learning community in case you want us to talk about any specific concept feel free to contact us the contact details are mentioned here on the slide as well as on the page so good luck and happy learning